So for our next part of our lesson, we are going to read the story together, A Very Hungry Caterpillar. So let me open the book so you can follow along with the book. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Hall. In the light of the moon, a little lay, egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Now this part of the story, kindergartners, I want you to repeat after I say, but he was still hungry. So I think most of you guys know this story. So I'm gonna say what he ate, and then together we're gonna say, and he was still hungry. Okay, here we go. So on Monday, he ate through one apple, but, he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss trees, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. But he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. And he built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a little hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. So, kindergartners, we are going to be making, again, our very colorful caterpillar. And we're going to look at making a caterpillar, but we're going to make it fun and different. We're going to actually make a color wheel caterpillar. So, we're going to continue on with our slides and our lesson. And I'll have some more videos for you to see how we do the steps of what we need to do. So, at this point, you guys can hit the down arrow or the big space bar to go to the next slide on our Google Slides to continue with your lesson. Bye, we'll see you later.